Hi, Tim Mahoney here, investigative filmmaker, and I'm with my researcher and co-writer Steve Law. And we're excited to talk to you about what's coming. We have three new films that are coming out. And the first one is called The Moses Controversy, and then the next one is going to be on The Journey to the Red Sea, and the one after that is going to be Journey to Mount Sinai. So we're working on these three films, but first let's talk about the first one, okay? The Moses Controversy. Why do we call it that, Steve? Well, because when you're looking at something like the route of the Exodus, the first question that comes up is, is the information in the Bible reliable? In other words, is this a first-hand account by Moses, or was it something invented a thousand years later, like many scholars believe? This here is a satellite map of the Sinai Peninsula, and we know the story starts here in Egypt, and the Israelites leave Egypt according to the Bible and they enter into a wilderness and they're pursued to a sea crossing somewhere. Well, there are very specific details, aren't there, about that? Right, and there's really only three areas that are possibilities. Either it was one of the border lakes over here on the edge of Egypt, or it was one of the two gulfs of the Red Sea, either here at the Gulf of Suez or further east at the Gulf of Aqaba. And uh, some people might not realize that there's actually been about a dozen different mountains proposed as the real location of Mount Sinai. Right, such as the traditional Mount Sinai down in this area. There are mountains over here. In fact, I actually saw went to a mountain over here at one time. And then there's the mountains in Saudi Arabia over in this area and this area. So what happened was one of the challenges I had when I was interviewing scholars, mainstream scholars in particular, is that they would say that the whole Exodus story is probably not written by Moses. It was written by authors a thousand years later. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that really implies that Moses was writing an eyewitness account of the Exodus journey. So what's the challenge here? Well, one reason is that they don't even think that there was a writing system available like Hebrew for Moses to use mm -hmm. when he wrote the book of Exodus. So in their thinking, it wasn't even possible for him to write this as an eyewitness account. And that's the big question that we had to, we knew that if we we're going to take the route seriously, we had to take the writing of the, the, of the story, the account seriously. You know, we could have gone and made like these other two films that are coming out on the Red Sea and the journey to Mount Sinai, but everyone would continue to say, yeah, but Moses didn't write that. That's just fiction. You can't trust that. So that was the first thing we had to deal with. And what we found, the patterns that we found in this next film are amazing. And you're going to love them.